Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to another What I Eat Wednesday. Let's see what we get up to today and I will share everything I eat all day long. Let's get going on this day y'all. As always, first thing I'm going to do is pop these pills. I just spilled water all down my face. How the heck? How did I do that? Alrighty then. On to my first zip fizz of the day, y'all. This is my favorite cup, my time to shrink cup that my girl Tanya over at Voodoo Queen made for me. So let's slay, sparkle, repeat, and get this day really going. Hi, sweet girl. Wanna say hi to everybody? Here's my sweet Hazel. Good morning. Good morning, sweet girl. Hi. Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> She's getting so big, y'all. It's about 10 o'clock and I'm going to make some eggs. So this is just two eggs and I'm going to add added a little bit of heavy cream. I'm going to just add some seasoning and some cheese. So here's breakfast. Two eggs, two pieces of cheese cooked in a little bit of olive oil with a little bit of heavy cream. I got a new scale, y'all. This is my old one over here. This is the new one. It's really cool. It hooks up Bluetooth. So you just stand on it. It shows you your weight and then it did you hear that? And then it sends it over to your phone, y'all. I've never had a Bluetooth scale before, so my weight is up because I have all my clothes on, but whatever. It was 169, and then I have a sweatshirt and sweatpants on. Anyways, so it shows you your weight, your BMI, your body fat percentage, your free, your fat-free body weight, your subcutaneous fat amount, visceral fat, body water level and skeletal muscle and if you click on any of them it will show you what the regular range is and where you are so subcutaneous fat mine is still high and then let's see body fat I am almost unacceptable y'all almost out of the obese range BMI same thing I'm like right on the border of overweight and obesity I'd love to get down here to this normal range and I'm gonna get there eventually but anyways I just really really like this and then it also has a tracking so I've only been doing it for a couple days but it tracks your weight so I shouldn't have got on it with all my clothes because now it looks like I gained weight but I didn't oh well anyways it tracks your weight and the longer that I have it the more I will really be able to see hopefully the downward trend anyways I'm really really liking this it's called an arrows scale. I'm really liking the scale, y'all. The app was so easy to install. The scale was so easy to install. Basically, you just start the app, you follow the directions, and it tells you what to do. And like, it literally took a couple minutes. And I think I'm really gonna like it. I like all the data that it gives you and uh, how it shows you what the normal ranges are and you can program in what your goals are. And I'm really looking forward to watching it trend. And I love how it automatically Bluetooths to the phone. So I don't have to like go put it in an app somewhere, which I always forget to do with my weights. I'm very much a daily wear. I just like to see where I am. I like to watch the trends and everything, but a lot of times I forget to put it in my app. So I love that this is Bluetooth and it just immediately syncs up. So all I have to do is step on it in the morning and then it syncs up for me and all that data will be recorded. I'm such a data nerd, so like I'm really psyched about that. All right, back to the regularly scheduled programming of what we eat today. It is nice and bright and warm. So warm, y'all. It is 81 degrees here in South Carolina today. 81 degrees. Not winter time. Not at all winter time, but I am not mad at it. I love warm weather. Sometimes at Christmas time, you want to be able to like light a fire and enjoy being inside and the all snuggled up and everything watching a Christmas movie, but I'm not mad at it. I will take 80 degrees, y'all. All right, I am running to go pick up Caroline. I have to take her on a little errand and then take her back to school, and then we're going to go to Target and do some Christmas shopping. I'm pretty much done, but I need stocking stuffers, and y'all, I have so much fetch rewards 
I've told y'all about Fetch Rewards before. They are just, it's like an app where you scan your receipts and you get points. I've saved them all year long for Christmas shopping. So I'm turning in Fetch Rewards to do stocking stuffers. So let's go get Caroline and then we will go do some stocking stuffer shopping. I love stockings. That's like my favorite part of Christmas. Ever since I was a little kid, my favorite thing to open is the stockings. So I try and get some really good stuff for stockings. It's so fun to do stocking shopping for my daughter. The boys are so much harder, so. All right, Caroline dropped off. Let's go to Target. Y'all, I love pentatonics. Spotify, Christmas music rocks. All right, y'all, car wash done. I'm gonna jump out and do some vacuuming and stuff because it's 80 degrees. I might as well take advantage of the really nice day and get my car clean. I absolutely hate having a dirty car. Like, I like my car to be pretty and spotless, and I also hate wasting money on washing my car, so I like go back and forth with that. But I wanted to stop real quick and chat, y'all. I went off plan for Thanksgiving. I planned to go off plan. I planned to have a non-keto Thanksgiving, and it's the first time that I've really done something like that since I started keto. Like I've had very, I've had very. Come on, music. Why did the Christmas music randomly come back on? So, anyways, what I was saying is I've had very few planned cheats or cheats in general. I just don't do it because for me, for my body, for my health, I feel better when I'm on keto. I just feel so much better, and so I just don't do it. I, last August, had about a month-long off plan, and I planned to do that. I planned to just give my body a break, and I actually still ended up losing weight during that month, which I was shocked about. But anyways, for Thanksgiving, I planned to have a three-day cheat. So Thanksgiving and the two days after, I was gonna eat whatever I wanted, and I did, and I enjoyed it and I gained like five pounds but I figured it was water weight and bloat and was not a big deal and it would come back off and it did I went right back down to 168 which is actually the lowest that I've been and no problem with that but I am struggling I am on the struggle bus y'all with eating keto I keep mainly eating keto and then eating something I shouldn't and that something tends to be like bread and that used to be my downfall, not sweets, but bread. Like my carb downfall was bread. And there's two issues with that for me. One, obviously there's carbs in it, but two, there's gluten in it. And gluten bothers my body. It causes me pain. And I've had so many bad days lately, so many bad fibro days, so many pain days. And even my decent days have been higher pain than my normal. I live with pain. I have pain every single day of my life. I never have a pain-free day. I just don't. That's me. That's my life. But keto has reduced it to so much more tolerable for the most part. I still have my flares, but they weren't as bad. They weren't as long. Yeah, and it's not good. And so today I was like, I'm going to film what I eat in a day, and I am going to be on point. I showed you all my eggs. I showed you all my coffee. And then I had two chocolates. And then I had a third chocolate. It was candy that I had bought to put in stockings. And I opened it and I ate it. Three pieces. And they're like truffles. They're not teeny tiny pieces. Like three truffles. So that's, I don't even know how much sugar. But that's a crap ton of sugar. And all it's going to do is make me hurt worse. And I'm so frustrated. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start filming every single day for the next little while and just carry y'all along show you what I'm eating show you what I'm doing and hopefully that accountability will help me get back on track because I've got to get back on track not for weight but for pain and inflammation so 
I'm gonna jump out of the car, vacuum a little bit, then we're gonna run to Target. I just, was, with it being such a nice day, I wanted to try and get this vacuuming done, and I'm feeling somewhat okay today, so I'm gonna do a little bit of vacuuming. I mean, not like a ton, but yeah. All right, see you in a minute. Y'all, it's hot. It's hot out there. I have long sleeves and long pants because this girl did not check the weather before she went outside. 80 and sunny. Oh, not appropriately dressed. No. All right, let's go get something to drink because I am dying and I forgot to bring something with me. So I'm going to run in Target, immediately grab some water, and then we'll start shopping. Let's hit the Target. It's going to be a good day because somebody's, I'm in their way. <laughs> what I was saying is it's going to be a good day because I got the second parking place. That never happens. It's Christmas time, y'all. It's a crowded parking lot. Oh my gosh. All the candy. There's like six aisles of candy, y'all. Oh my gosh. All of this stuff for stockings. And three gift cards. Yay. Let's see if I can get it for this price. Probably still spend more. Okay, just in these little bags, it's like $300 worth of stuff, y'all. But I saved $150 by using my Fetch Rewards. Y'all, I just spent entirely too long in Target. It was really, really crowded. Been in there for like two hours. Spent way too much money on stocking stuffers. I may have got too much stuff. I may have to return some stuff. I just kept throwing stuff in the cart, things that looked like they would be good. And generally, I don't... I don't know about y'all, but generally on stocking stuffers, a lot of the stuff that I buy is stuff that they're going to need anyway. So like shampoo and toothbrushes and socks and underwear and not super exciting stuff. And then I try to throw in some like fun stuff too. You know, just lots of random things. And it added up to over $300. I don't much money crazy but I had $150 in fetch rewards and I turned those in so I actually got half of it off knowing that I had the fetch rewards I kind of just threw stuff in and stuff some stuff was kind of pricey some stuff wasn't but it added up to way more than I was expecting I was thinking I was going to spend like 200 so literally me spend 50 and the rest be rewards and I went way way over that budget I don't usually shop this way so we shall see. All right, it's 500 degrees, so I gotta turn the air on, y'all. I'm gonna turn the air on, and then we're gonna go home. We gotta go pick up little man and take him to soccer practice. He has soccer conditioning for the high school coming up here. Why is this not turning on? It is so hot. Please turn on. Oh, about to have a heat stroke in here in the middle of December. Oh, there we go. And I'm starving. It's 3 o'clock and I have not had anything to eat since 10 o'clock and I'm hungry. So, let's get home. I wish I'd known they were doing this today. I could have bought some toys to fill the police truck with. What a good idea. Never a dull moment around here. I lost my phone in the five minutes between Target and the car. Lost my phone. Thank God I went flying back in there. Thank God somebody grabbed it. Like, oh, that would have been just lovely. Mm, Erica. Yeah, I spent entirely too long at Target. I got home. I barely have time to walk in the door. I'm going to grab a bar. I'm going to grab a drink. And then I'm back out to take Andrew to soccer. And then wait to pick Caroline up from DECA. Jackson has basketball tonight. So they don't have to go back and pick up Andrew from soccer. Because Jason, my husband, is a soccer coach at a different high school. And he's got training too. So crazy day. I spent entirely too much of it at Target, but I enjoyed it and it is what it is. I also just realized y'all that it is 78 degrees inside my house. It is so hot. I guess we had the heat on last night because it was cold and then it got into the 80s today. I think it's 83 outside right now. So it's 78 in here. I'm going to turn that air conditioning on so that when I come back in, I can breathe. It is hot. How did you survive all day in this heat? Uh, I was in my room with a fan on. In your room with the fan on? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot, buddy. You ready for soccer? Mm -hmm. You look really ready. Tired. Super energized. Tired. Hey, sweet girl. You want to say hi to everybody? Just trying to get some clickbait. Say hi. Say hi. She's not clickbait. 
Say, I'm not clickbait. I'm just wonderful. She hasn't seen me all day, huh? All day long, all day long. All right, got my second Zip Fizz filled up, 32 ounces, and my bar. This is what I'm gonna take to eat in the car on the road, and then I'm going to go and sit and wait for the next kiddo. All right, time to wait. School traffic is crazy anyway, so I just dropped dropped little man off over here at this complex. Literally their high school is like a small college campus, y'all. It's crazy. It is so, so nice. Anyways, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I'm gonna eat a bar and just hang out here until time to pick up Caroline because I really don't have enough time to do anything else. I wanted to show y'all in case you've never had a perfect keto bar. This is what they look like. This is about half the bar. I ate about half of it and then thought I would show you. This is the cinnamon flavor. It is my absolute favorite. They're all fine. They're all pretty good. They're all very, very clean. But this cinnamon one, I'm obsessed with the cinnamon bar one. So tonight for dinner, we are having taquitos. So I have some smoked pork taquitos and then I've got queso. And this is a jalapeno cilantro sauce that I made. So this is what I am having for dinner. While we are in the middle of meal prepping, look at my kitchen, y'all. It is a disaster zone. Behind the scenes, y'all, don't see that very often. I don't always show that, but it is crazy behind the scenes. I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy this. So that was a super busy day, y'all, and I am so, so tired. It's only 6.15, but I ate those taquitos and I am super stuffed, so I'll probably have a cup of tea tonight, just a cup of cinnamon tea with nothing in it, and that is gonna be the night, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me today, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm gonna keep this up for a few days here and see if I can use y'all as accountability partners, because this girl's gotta get straight. I gotta get back on keto, y'all. My body just needs it. I need it.